Hello, this is Rupert Howe from twittervlog.tv and premierpro.org. I'm just going to give you a quick screencast of how to import a video file into Photoshop and turn it into an animated GIF, which you can then use in your Twitter timeline. Uh, like this. I'm sorry if this creates a lot of animated GIFs in your timelines, but it's too fun not to show you. Uh, I have this, which was my static avatar, has been for like six years. 2005, July the 4th, it was a video blog I made. as a still from that, and it was this video. Uh, here we are, through here, and there's a chunk in here, so I thought, why not take... Uh, when I found out that Photoshop allows you to import video files uh, as layers and turn them into animations, I thought I might as well animate my avatar. Uh, which I'm probably going to regret, but it was fun to do. Uh, so I'm just using QuickTime because it's super quick and easy just to take a chunk out of this video. You don't want the whole video because it's thousands and thousands of frames. I'm just going to take a one second or so chunk out of that. You can use uh, iMovie or um, Windows Movie Maker or Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro or whatever you want to do to do this. Any Anything you can do to cut a little chunk out of a video. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do that. Uh, save as that with... Uh, raw. Uh, on my desktop. Uh, and there it is. And now raw is uh, that file. <laughs> So I'm going to import that file into Photoshop. Video frames to layers. There we go. Ra. Yes, I want to import it from the beginning to end. And hopefully, yes, here we go. All of my frames are here. 25 frames of me going ra. Uh, and I'm going to highlight them all. Shift clicking them to highlight. I click on the beginning one. And then shift click on the end one. So I can highlight them all and change the duration of each frame. You can just, once you've highlighted them, you click on any of them, choose a super quick duration, 0 0.01 seconds, say. Uh, and that should mean that it's now, here we go, without the sound, luckily, in Photoshop. We are here, you can specify how many times you want it to loop, once, twice, three times, forever. If you leave it on that. Now, you need to turn this into a square image. So... Uh, the video, the version that I did, I actually put a little QuickTime player border around it, but we haven't got time to fiddle around with doing that, so I'm just going to make this square for the purposes of this, and make that 240 pixels wide by 240 high, uh, and then we're going to scale that down in a second, there we go, now if we play that... Now we go save for web and devices. We choose 48 pixels by 48 pixels. That's the magic number. Looping options forever. Uh, and yep, it's going to be looping forever until as many people unfollow me as possible. By keeping sharper quality reductions, we'll create a sharper reduced picture when it scales it down from... 240 to 48. Uh, it's a GIF, obviously. There isn't any transparency. I'm just going to leave everything else checked so that it is as it is. And then we click Save, not Done. It's the trick. And then you go Ra GIF. And on your desktop now, hopefully, you have a GIF called Ra GIF, which is a small pixelated image, but when you open it, it'll preview in Photoshop. And there we go, you got that. And you can now upload that to Twitter, and your timeline will contain that image there. Not obviously that image there, but the, an the animated chunk of video that you've got, whether it's your favourite movie, or you in a video, or your child doing something cute for one second, or something foul. I don't care. Uh, with no power comes no responsibility. So it's up to you what you do with it, please. Forgive me if this ruins everybody's Twitter timeline. Okay, that's me, Rupert Howell, twittervlog.tv, premierpro.org. Goodbye.